wants to be king! Welcome back to the war room. I'm sorry to say, guys, I've grown very disenchanted with being a man. You know, life's hard and there's, it's really hard to break through life and be great because there's a lot of men to compete with. And so I've decided to throw in the towel of manhood and become a Decepticon. And uh, since I've never, never been able to make a name for myself as a man, I feel like I'll have a better chance at being a strong woman. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a temporary transition, become an MMA fighter, get some celebrity and some clout so I can hang out with Fresh and Fit and uh, see if I can become something. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. Man, I have become very, very just sick of hearing all of the different narratives from all the different crybabies and losers in our society. And, you know, if it was just in isolated pockets where you had to actually go, go to a club or a bar or actually go to somewhere to experience this, it wouldn't be a bad, it wouldn't be so bad, I could deal with it. If, ever, if everyone just kept their mouth shut and lived their lives and quit whining and crying about how people need to pay attention to them and do all of this, you know, me, me, me shit, then it wouldn't be so bad. But it's everywhere. It's gotten everywhere. And, and one of the things that is the most out of control, and as men, we need to put, put a check on, is this fake vaulting of women, this, this empowerment movement where this delusional belief that, that women are equal in all things to men, regardless of the consistent and constant proof that that's not true. It's hard for any real man to sit back and watch a movie where you've got a woman who's 130 pounds just easily dispatching of dudes that are 6'3", 6'4", 240 pounds, just, just dicing through them. Men can't do that. And, and even though we can suspend belief when a man does that, a superhero does that, there's no superhero universe that that's a reality that a woman is going to be able to do that to men. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Fit just on a, on a on a physics scale. But some sort of way, we as men have bowed down to this narrative that you know strong girls and and, and what women do is equally as impressive as what men do. When it's simply not the truth. It's simply not the truth. And and as men, you know, on this channel. I always talk about accountability. I always talk about accountability and being honest because when we, when we refuse to take ownership of what we do and we walk around the world lying about stuff so we can get things or get people to like us or accept us, when we do this, then we create a world that's sick. And that's what we've got now. 
And everywhere you look, every movie, every commercial, everything that has been fed to us through our society is all full of this sickness that nobody really wants to see. Only very small pockets of the population are applauding this, but they're trying to change what we are on a fundamental biological level. It's, it's disgusting. What they're doing to the children, the confusion that they're putting into the children, all of this is, is to feed something that's, that is not good for mankind, not just our country, it's not good for humanity. But in order to get these things right, in order to right the ship, what we have to do is we have to stop lying to women. Not only do we have to stop lying to them outright, we've got to start speaking up when, when we hear these narratives, when we hear this, this false boasting of greatness and all of that. We, we've, got to, we've got to stop being silent about that. At a minimum, when you hear or see that, you should, you should walk away. Because sitting there and letting some, some goofball tell you how amazing they are, and you don't believe it and you don't speak up, it kind of makes you a coward and you're feeding that beast. You know, I, I I was trying to watch a movie the other day, and you know, I, I just every every single thing that I, that I see, it at some point in the movie, either there's some alphabet bullshit going on, there's some female empowerment bullshit going on, or there's 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 something going on in the movie that's trying to force this objective, this agenda down our throat, and on all and on all fronts, even even where men are supposed to be heroic. They're dumbing men down, making them acquiesce to the woman's whims. She's, she, she's so witty and quick. And, and, you know, and everything that these women do, everything that they pretend to do is masculine. And it looks stupid. I watched a movie and this woman was doing some mechanic stuff with a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. Like, like old school war vets on their movies. And it looks so ridiculous. It just and that's what we're selling. And if anything happens, if if this world goes to shit, and we, you know we actually have to engage in some sort of physical conflict, women are not going to be the ones that are front line. And and it terrifies me to think about the men in this country because the men have been so pussified in this country that we are we are in definite trouble. But one of the things that we have to do as men. We have to be honest. We have to be honest with women about things. We, we can't continue this game of allowing someone to believe something that's not true simply because we want to be accepted by them or we want to get something from them. Now, I'm not saying that women aren't amazing in their own right, but the truth of the matter is this, and this is what we've got to get back to. This is, this is the stance that men need to have because this is the truth. The only thing that women are better than men at is being women. Out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.